Now to Cal Allen, where a high school student there has spent the last couple of days in in school suspension for what district officials say was breaking dress code. Our Alexis Green spoke with the student's mother who says that her son's long hair is a part of his Native American tribes tradition. She joins us here now with more Alexis. Thank you. Yes, in my hand is a stack of the correspondence between the parent and Cal Allen High School where they gave them notice that if the hair wasn't cut, he would face in school suspension. Also in my hand is a letter from the Sequimus tribe verifying the young man's citizenship and asking the district to withdraw their demand for him to cut his hair, which in their culture is considered to be sacred. Chris and Vanna tells 3 News her family moved from Washington State last year and her 16 year old son, who to some may not appear Native American, belongs to the Sequimus tribe there. We came down last year, we met with the school and enrolled him and uh, this year he decided to grow out his, his braid to honor his culture. That's when Vanna said her son started getting warnings at school that he was out of dress code and he had a deadline to cut his hair if he wanted to avoid in school suspension. Vanna emailed the assistant principal offering to provide a copy of Phoenix's certificate of enrollment in the tribe. But the tribal certificate wasn't exactly enough. Vanna went back to the tribe asking for advice and more proof of Phoenix's affiliation. The tribe sent a letter to the school detailing how demanding Phoenix to cut his hair violates the American Indian Religious Freedom Act and the council found the school's request unnecessary and highly offensive. It took some time, but um, they put him in, in school suspension for the last two days. He spent all day in Monday and Tuesday in, in school suspension. We reached out to Cal Allen ISD for comment and they sent the following statement, which outlines their dress code policy on grooming, hygiene and safety hazards. For students who have a religious or cultural affiliation that does not align with dress code, we only ask that the family provide affiliation documentation. We strive to honor their backgrounds and the diversity of cultures in our community. In the case in question, once the family provided the information requested, an exception was immediately granted. I just really hope that there are ways to fix the policies to make it a little easier for kids to get an education because he was going to be kicked out over this, you know? It seems so strange over a haircut. And I know they don't want distractions in class, but I feel like in the year 2022, what we look like is less important as far as getting an education, getting a job. Phoenix is no longer in ISS and is planning to grow out his hair long enough for a braid that is significant to him and his tribe. Leslie Mike. All right. Thank you for that, Lexus.